John the Baptist serves a critical role in preparing the people for the mission of Jesus. And since we want Jesus to act in our time, in our church, among our people, and through us to the lost in our community, I think it's important to listen to the criticism that John the Baptist had for the religious people of his day, churchy people like us, as he called them to repentance. So in Matthew chapter 3, John the Baptist is uh, out in the wilderness at the Jordan River baptizing people as they repent of their sins. Now, some Pharisees and Sadducees approach and those are the religious elitists, right? These are the re religious people. And John the Baptist says this to them. You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance. And do not say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father. I tell you the truth. God could raise up from these stones that are lying around here children for Abraham. Do you not know that the axe is already at the root of the trees? And any tree that does not produce fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. That's a pretty serious warning for people who have been caught in the trap of religiosity the whole time having little or no faith. And so for our prayer point today, what I'd like to do is for us to examine our hearts, to ask the Spirit of God who searches the soul and convicts the heart of sin to, to take a look in us. Are we a people who have fallen into the trap of religiosity? Is our focus on maintaining a certain Christian churchy practice? Or is it on deepening our relationship with Jesus Christ? Have we become spectators in the faith and sort of judgmental about it? Or are we servants who serve the community? Have we um, grown comfortable with our church people and our internal cliques? Or are we focused on the mission to those who are lost in our community? When we come to church, are we satisfied with our group of friends and and, and we have our, our little click that we connect to and, and we're, we're simply content with that? Or do we welcome visitors? Do we reach out to the lost and the lonely? Church, I, I pray that the Holy Spirit examines each of our hearts individually, but also to take a good look at our church and pray that we come up become a people, that we are a people who produce fruit in keeping with repentance.